about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. It is so nice out today. It's really hot, so Christian actually has a friend over. Audrey, you guys have seen her in a bunch of vlogs. Um, we're gonna do a pool day. <laughs> You're so cute. They just got their suits on. They're so excited. Um, and so yeah, I just thought I would vlog throughout the day. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I did go ahead and make them a lunch that we can take to the pool. And that's a big question I get from you guys from a lot of my the, of my following who's moms or dads. Um, and you want to know about quick, healthy, and affordable lunches and snacks that I constantly give Christian. And I've never made a video about that. You're so cute. I do want to say I'm not perfect. You know, we don't always eat the healthiest. I want to keep it transparent and realistic with you guys. Sometimes things are quick and they're not going to be super healthy. You don't have to feel a lot of mom guilt for that. I'm not perfect, um, but I really love their lunches today. I made two lunches for them and some snacks to go. So I hope you guys will enjoy those ideas for your own family. <laughs> you guys are so cute. So I hope you guys enjoy the meal ideas and seeing the little ones at the pool today. Christian, tell them what do they got to do? Round up and subscribe. Subscribe and let's go to the pool. And let's get a big thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so the lunch I ended up making for the kids was really easy. Every ingredient was super affordable, and they loved it. So you can just use whatever bread you want. I'm kind of just doing a little twist on a normal turkey sandwich. Um, I was doing the Sarah Lee bread, which is actually kind of like pretty low in carb. I don't know if it really matters to you guys for your kids, but my son really likes this. We're doing a little bit of smoked turkey breast. Um, the white is actually not mayonnaise it's veganese i got from albertson's i really like it so it is plant-based i was using a little bit of american cheese and then the kicker here is the everything but the bagel seasoning this is really really good it does give sandwiches and bagels and eggs a lot better taste so my son really likes that i was actually just doing about half a cup on each of their plates of a berry mix sometimes i do bananas and strawberries today it was just blackberries raspberries I did cut up one of the chocolate caramel and pretzel bars for them to just put something a little chocolatey on their plate. Um, I did use one of the silk dairy-free yogurts if you're vegan or plant-based. My son loves those. And then on the other plate for something a little bit different, I did one of the squeeze pouches. This one was uh, Chia Superfoods. So it's kind of got a little green superfood complex in there um, and the kids actually still really like it. So we ate some of this at home and also took some of the leftovers to the pool. Took me like two minutes to make. It was pretty healthy. It didn't have to get fast food, just a quick lunch that I know they'll both eat. So later in the afternoon when we got back from the pool, I was making the kids a snack. And this is also great for adults as well. I really loved it. We're just making at home, like homemade from scratch broccoli tots. So you want to take two huge broccoli florets and chop them up as small as you can. I actually should have chopped them a little bit smaller than this. I'm going to add in two eggs. I'm going to do a little bit of panko breadcrumbs, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, and then also some Mexican cheese. I got every ingredient from Albertsons or from Stater Brothers, so it was really, really affordable. Um, and then I did go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. Um, I got this specific recipe from my coach, Leah. You guys already know I've been working with her for like a year, but I'm so proud of her and have to give her, you know, a little shout out right here because she just launched her recipe book a few days ago. You guys, she is absolutely the queen of at-home recipes that are macro friendly that are super affordable and easy 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 to put together if you are not a chef but you want to eat healthy and like try some new variety in your diet 
this is for you. We all know I'm not the best cook, but literally everything in this cookbook I'm able to do at home. It's easy. It's really easy to follow. As you can see here, the recipe book includes a hundred different recipes, over a hundred actually, like this one here, this little like acai bowl for breakfast. I'm going to insert some pics here of other stuff in her recipe book. I know a lot of you have wanted to sign up with her as a client, uh, but you can't afford it right now or you're younger. It's just not in your budget. This recipe book is so, so, so affordable. If you at least snag this, you can make a bunch of these recipes at home and still do really well on your health and fitness journey. It does share, she puts in there the macros. Oh my God, like this one. Ugh, it just looks so good. Um, she puts in there exactly how much prep time it takes, the macros for every meal. You can make all of these at home. Again, really affordable ingredients. I'm so proud of her. She just launched this a few days ago. So I will have this recipe book linked down below for you guys with a little discount. I highly recommend. I know a lot of you follow her on Instagram or you followed her like from my videos and you haven't got the chance to sign up as a client yet, but at least grab the recipe book guys. Um, it's really amazing throughout the past. I think she launched it like three or four days ago and I've already made a bunch of stuff in there for Christian. The recipes are good for kids as well. Um, so yeah, I got this one from her little recipe book for the broccoli tots. I was just taking a tray um, and I ended up pouring out like all this broccoli mash. What you can do is actually shape them into little tots, but I actually took the top of a mason jar here, this little circle thing, because I just I decided to make, um, I don't know what you'd actually call this, like uh, kind of like little pancake shapes of them. I just wanted them to be like little broccoli fritters that I could dip inside veganese or like ketchup or mustard or something. I ended up just putting them in the oven at 350, I believe for about like 20 minutes. Um, they did, they didn't turn out in like perfect circles, you know, but that's okay. They, this is how they turned out. They were so good. The cheese was melted on top. They were like all browned at the bottom. They were bomb. I did end up just pairing them with ketchup. Christian really liked them as well. So they're great for toddlers, kids, or for adults. And yeah, I don't know. I think like the brown on the bottom, they were like burned a little bit. They were really, really good. What's up guys? We're, at, we're making pizza. This is crust right now and we can put cheese on it and yeah. chicken and sauce and all of it. Yeah. Don't forget to bounce up. <laughs> You're so cute. Up down. No, don't bounce down, you little brat. All right, let's make this pizza. All right guys, so as little man told you, we're just making a little pizza for dinner. Um, instead of buying one that was pre-made, I thought it'd just be fun with him. It's always fun with kids, right? To make him feel like the chef and cook. Um, we're just taking some red pizza sauce from Thrive Market. Any marinara sauce will do. I know you can actually get marinara at the dollar store. You can make this really affordable. Um, we just got a two pack of pizza crusts um, from Albertsons. We're taking a blend of Mexican cheese from Stater Brothers that was like two bucks. Um, again, it's just kind of fun to let Christian do it on his own. The pizza ended up being messy and stuff, but that's just how it is with toddlers. He had a blast kind of creating this. So that was really the whole point. He really likes olives and he's pretty plain. Sometimes he puts some chicken, sometimes he doesn't. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just, you know, letting him kind of have the experience of doing it himself. I did preheat the oven at 350. I helped him go and put the pizza on the oven rack. I don't put it on the tray. I put it right on the rack for about 10 to 12 minutes and you have a super easy dinner. Again, this one wasn't really the healthiest, but I did eat some and then he ate some. So we only had to make one dinner and it's really easy and convenient and affordable. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know today was a little bit of a quick video. I am trying to upload four to five times every week uh, here during summer. So I appreciate you being here. I hope you'll subscribe. I did upload all these videos recently. I uploaded a bunch last week. If you guys want to catch up on just what I eat in a day, I have some videos in Spanish, my home buying update. I did a little life update about my relationship. Just so many things. I'd love to have you. Thank you guys again for being here. Be sure you are subscribed. And Christian and I will see you in the next video. Please like share, subscribe my channel, and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification when I upload a video. And also, we are giving away free ebook to our first 10,000 subscribers. Please click the link below on the description box.